not in Kansas anymore. Hey everybody, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel I do plug interviews and tutorials and I also want to teach you all of those little tips and tricks to help you navigate your way into building your Rust community. So if you're brand new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on plus you'll get the notifications every time I upload a new video. All right, so obviously, as you can tell by the thumbnail that you clicked on, plus my cool little intro that I put together, today we're talking about the Tornado plugin available from GameForFreak.io. As always, I'm going to put the link in the video description down below, so just click down there. It's going to take you directly to this page right here. As you can see, this is a premium plugin, $19.99, but use promo code SRTBOL at checkout to save yourself a couple of bucks. We've got a couple of really good visuals there that's going to show you exactly what this plugin is going to look like if you decide to put it on your server. Plus, there's a video there, but we're going to cover all of that on this video. You don't need to go watch that video. So obviously this plugin is permission based. We only want admins or moderators of our server to be able to trigger tornadoes. So make sure you're careful how you're granting your permissions. There's obviously a list of commands that we're going to need to know and definitely have access to because this is how we're going to trigger the different tornadoes. And by using different variables in these commands, we get to control how long it's going to last, how many tornadoes there's actually going to be, how big of an area it's going to travel, all of those most important details. VizEntities has also included a couple of example commands that you can run. Just make sure that you're making sense of what these commands actually are so that you know what to expect when you're testing this out. Having a look at the configuration file, this is where you get to play around with all all of the details of your tornadoes. If you want them to automatically spawn on a timer on your server, obviously you would change this to true and adjust how much time there's gonna be in between each different tornado. Aside from those details, we get to control literally every detail about these tornadoes. How quickly do they travel? How far do they travel? The number of funnel rings, literally everything. How many rockets is it gonna fire? How quickly is it gonna fire rockets? And then of course down here, this is also a very important section. What is this tornado going to damage? I I think by default player damage is set to false but building and deployable damage is set to true so the only thing I changed on this configuration file is that it will also damage players so if a player happens to get in the pathway of a tornado it's likely going to kill that player and one thing I did note is don't set up a wood shack and call a tornado right on top of your wood shack because it's going to destroy it. We also get to control all of the aspects of the weather. If you decide that there's too much rain, you can turn down the rain. If you decide that there's not enough wind, you can turn up the wind. You can control every aspect of what happens to the weather during a tornado event. And you're going to see what that all looks like right now. All right. So as you can see here, we've got a beautiful day on our rust island. Everything is tickety boo. Let's head over to the dock page real quick and let's grab this command right here. Head back in game, open up our F1 menu. We're going to make some changes here. So I'm just going to change this name to mine. So my player name. So what is this command going to do? So we're going to launch one tornado. It's going to launch near me. It's going to last for 60 seconds and it has an 80 meter radius that it might travel within. So this is going to happen pretty quickly. So I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to close my F1 menu so that you immediately see what happens. As you can see, beautiful rust day. And immediately, as soon as we hit that command, the weather changes, the rain starts, the wind starts. I'm going to turn this up so you can actually hear what's happening, hopefully. And there's our tornado. It's tossing rockets all over the place. If I happen to be in the vicinity of a rocket and I don't have God mode turned on, which I do right now, it would definitely obliterate me. And immediately, as soon as the tornado is finished, time's out, the weather changes back and everything goes back to normal. If there were a bunch of bases on this server though, we would be able to go and see its path of destruction because it definitely left one. So when I was doing the research for this plugin, I kind of wasn't thinking straight. And I built this wood shack, this thing that you can see on the screen right now. And I used a different plugin from Viz Entities called Button Commands, and I set it up on these three buttons. So I can control the time of day, I can trigger three tornadoes, and I also set up another one that I can shut off but what i did is i made it so that it triggered the tornado right on my player character so it completely destroyed my building and of course i had to build another one and set up those three buttons again all just from a testing perspective that was really dumb of course we can control how much damage it does to the bases in the configuration file but i didn't mess around with any of that so it did a lot of damage one rocket took out my entire base so I'm going to do it again. Hopefully I can catch it on camera. So let's change the time of day to 12 o'clock noon. That's what that button did on the left there. And then I'm going to trigger this again. And sure enough, it spawns 
a tornado right above my base and chances are pretty good that one of those rockets that's flying out of that tornado is going to land at or near that base and probably destroy it. The tornado's pathway is completely random. It will follow terrain up and down. It's pretty smart and in my opinion, very visually appealing. As far as an event goes, I think your players are really gonna like this. I've never seen anything like this before. I didn't know that this swirling mess of death was even possible inside of Rust. Gotta hand it to the guy. He sure knows how to figure stuff out. All right, so luckily the tornado is now dissipating. Our weather went back to normal and my base survived. Last time, it didn't. So this button commands plugin, it is free. It's coming up on another video because I wanna show you guys some really cool things that we can do with these buttons, but that's upcoming. Don't worry about that right now. I just wanted to set this up to make sure that it was gonna do what I wanted it to do. So let me know what you guys think of the tornado plugin. The setup is super easy. It's probably one of the easiest plugins out there. You don't have to do a bunch of setups. You don't have to individually create the tornadoes. It just does what you want it to do right out of the bag. But let me know what you guys think. It doesn't really matter what I think. It matters what you think. If you like me, with the different events that are happening on your server, make sure you check out this video on the left hand side of your screen right now. If you do decide to go with the tornado plugin, make sure you use promo code SRTBULL at checkout to save yourself a couple of bucks. Click down over there if you want to subscribe to the channel and click down over there if you want to support what I'm doing at Rust Admin Academy. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next week.